Hi everybody, I hope you are doing well. In today's videos, I'm going I'm going to cover many things in this lab and they will show you how to interact with some tools and how you can achieve some benefits and very useful things like how you can establish secure connection between your, your AWS account and your your resource in the AWS account and your resource in your Azure account via creating a VPN connection also I have covered new technologies and new tools in this lab that I will show you how you interact with them and how you create them like cloud9 AWS single sign-on active directory virtual network gateway and virtual network etc so before we start to dive into this lab and implement that don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can that you can receive my my next videos and my next my, my next labs and don't forget to share this continent if you like it with your friends and let me a comment so that will motivate me to create more labs in the future so what we are going to do now is we are going to go to our our AWS account and our Azure account so the first thing that we have to do as a first is to try to create a virtual private cloud or VPC so in AWS we call it VPC and in Azure we call it virtual network right so I have already created the VPC right because I have covered these steps many times on my previous labs so just come back to my previous labs and then you will find all the steps from the beginning till the end of how creating VPC creating subnet road tables gateways nuts etc I will leave the link of my previous playlist videos in the description because I have explained that so I don't want to repeat it this year because it will take me only it will take me only the time because I have already explained it very well on my previous video right so here I in this on AWS I will use the CIDR 10 10.10.0.0 slash 16 and on Azure Active Directory I will use one hundred one hundred and ninety two and one hundred and sixty eight dot zero dot zero plus sixteen you will tell me n sorry ninety two you will tell me that this cider is must be twenty four I will tell you that the default class of this IP address is the class C means that it must have here twenty four instead of sixteen but you can edit this number because this number only specify the number of bits of the network right you can write anything you want here right but the default one is 24 because I'm using this range of IP address that belong to the class C but here we will use 16 instead so but the first thing I'm going to do is to create a virtual network on our Azure account. But before creating that virtual network, 
let me create something called it resource so we'll go to resource so what is the benefit sorry wait resource group call it resource for a resource group so what is the benefit of this resource groups in this resource groups we are going to group all the tools and the resource that we are going to use in this lab like our our network interface our virtual network our our azure vm our root tables our subnets etc right so for example if you want to create a resource for the development environment and the resources for a test uh, environment and the resource for a production environment so all what you need to do is to create for each environment a separate resource i think that you get you got my ap so i will come here to this plus button and hit and click on it then i will as subscription i have azure for student subscription maybe you have maybe you, you, ha you will have a different subscription here so for the resource i will call it azure aws vpn and they want it to be in the us or in the us yes the east us then review and and create then create next step now is to create a virtual networks the virtual network it is the same of the vps in aws so if you are familiar with aws and you want to learn a new cloud provider either google or azure or digital ocean or whatever you are familiar with or passionate with you will it will be seem very easy for you so if you know any cloud provider previously when you will start to learn or start to interact with new clouds it will be it will seem so familiar for you because you have already have some terms that already heard about only the the names that change and the syntax and also the way to create that resource so we will create the virtual network we'll click on virtual network networks and then come here and create a new virtual network i will click here and choose the resource group i have created azure aws vpn and they will call it azure aws vpn vnet and for virtual network and then the ip address by default azure give you a default ip address but i will not use this ip address i will use my own ip address that is 192.168.00-6 and scroll down here as you can see here there is an error or cross icon that tell me this virtual network does not have any subnet so what i have to do i will create a subnet for that this virtual network the same thing for aws when we create a vpc then we create subnets then we create row table so this subnet i will call it public or i will call it private subnet one and they will give it 1.0 slash 24 click on add then add another subnet i will call it public subnet or so i will call it private my private subnet 2 i will tell you why i have created two private subnets here then one sorry two dot zero 